Peace and riches, blessings. I am Michael B. Beck with the host of Take Back Your Mind. Peace and radical blessings. Welcome to the Take Back Your Mind Question of the Week podcast. You may have tuned in to the formal podcast that was released on Wednesday. This is the question of the week. Obviously, I'm Michael B. Beckwith, founder of the Agape International Spiritual Center and the host of Take Back Your Mind. Today, Jody is asking, I've heard you say that our relationships are a mirror of ourselves, which I have found to be true. While I'm blessed with good relationships in my life, my relationship with my daughter who struggles with mental health and is currently on medication for depression is not good. I want us to be close, but our relationship feels one-sided where I give and give and everything must be done her way or else. We have problems. I'm tired of walking on eggshells with her. But I can give her a pass on some of her behavior because of her mental health issues. So my question is this. How do I know if her behavior is really a mirror reflecting back a side of me? Or is it just someone who is dealing with mental health issues? Thank you, Jody. First of all, relationships... And the world is a mirror reflecting back to us. What we project onto it from the depth of our being, whether that's conscious or unconscious. So children do have a tendency to reflect back to us things that we suppress. It will show up in our children. And so there's two things you say here. You give and give and give. It's one-sided. And then you're saying, is there a difference between Is her behavior really something within me that's reflecting back to me? Or is it someone who's dealing with mental issues? First question, you're the mother. So your relationship right now is the caretaker and the giver. So it's going to be one-sided for a while. That's what you do. You have chosen in this incarnation to be a mother, to wear the hood of mother, motherhood. And so your role is to make sure that she's safe, that you are holding a high vision for her well-being and success in this world. I don't mean material success. I'm talking about uh, maturing and becoming the best version of herself. This is a part of your role, to give, without attachment of something coming back. Her role is at a certain point, you didn't mention how old she is here, is to individuate, that is to become herself. This is why teenagers, young people and teenagers, often go through a period of of rebellion because they're individuating, they're discovering themselves. Sometimes that discovery appears to be destructive, sometimes it doesn't. seems to be life-affirming. But regardless, The struggles that parents have with their kids is the way nature designs it so that a child becomes an adult and is is an individual. Of course, there are imprints on everyone. There are imprints from the government, imprints from mass media, social media. There's all kinds of imprints that thwart the perfect and ideal unfoldment. So your role as mom is to continue to hold her with a high vision of her greatness. Perhaps you have a picture of her that when you look at it, it makes you smile. Oh, I remember, I remember this being. She's so sweet, you see. Look at the picture. So your role is to, what I just said, and to hold her in a period of blessing. Now, is this reflecting back to you something within yourself? How do you, can you tell? See if it triggers you. That when you see it, it may get you angry, may get you upset, may get you off center. It might be an indication. 
I'm not talking about just the actions that may not be kosher, the actions that may not be constructive. I'm just talking about is there something like when she does something, it, it really bothers you inside beyond just the action of it. That might be an indication that there's something within you you need to deal with and that she's bringing it up for you to heal. And as you've indicated, she's an individual on her own journey. So there will be things that happen on her journey and her adventure of life that have nothing to do with you. It's her journey. So I think that if you ask this question sincerely, the universe will start giving you clues as to whether this is something within you that you've suppressed that's now showing up in her or is she just on her own journey? Either way, you still have to pray. I don't mean getting on your knees and begging God to do anything. I'm talking about praying until you have a realization that your daughter's all right. It's an inner feeling. You carry that inner feeling. And then because you have a psychic connection to her because she came out of your womb as you're holding her high in vision, in prayer, it will affect her. And when she doesn't want to do what you want her to do the way you want her to do it, if it's not something dangerous, then you can let her try it her way. If it's something dangerous, as mom, you have to step in and say, mm, nope, you can be mad at me, but this isn't going down. So Jody, as I read this, this is how I see it. Your daughter's on medication for depression. I'll just say one thing about that. Depression is a lack of expression, which means, I don't know, again, I don't have the age, what we're dealing with here. Um, it feels like teenage. If you can get her to be of service to anyone else besides herself, whether it's serving food to the homeless, doing some kind of assistance in a senior citizen home, some kind of act, any kind of small act of service, the energy of depression will become expression. And depression will begin to be dissolved to a degree. And if you can make it feel like that's her idea, that's even better. <laughs> so Jody, thank you so much for your question. I hope this not only benefits you, but benefits many people tuning in. Where our relationship, particularly with our children, are concerned. You may even want to write down on a regular basis statements about your daughter. My daughter is a magnificent expression of the universe. Her mental health is supreme. Everything is unfolding for her to be very successful in this life. You start to have an inner awareness of that feeling of what you're writing and you will affect her psychically. All right? All right, have a beautiful day. Hey, thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to ask a question, please email me at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com. And you know what? Your question just might be featured. Have a beautiful and bright day.